Also We're stretched out like some fucking pussy lips. Make sure you put the viewfinder. <laughs> <laughs> Good gang, yo, here. we're back. Welcome back to Late Night with Badtastic, featuring um, Jaden. Yeah, and Eric. This is Eric. I'm Jaden, or vice versa. You'll find out. Um, so you know, one thing that always gets a podcast getting nasty style is looking at Twitter's trending. <laughs> And, uh, of course, yeah, because we every time we fucking start one of these, we're like, what do we talk about, man? Yeah, <laughs> so it's like, I mean, we usually just, like, fucking yabber on for a minute, and then, yeah, like, like, one thing we'll just kind of, like, sidetrack for a while, but, you know. Like, if I knew, like, I was going to be, like, on the podcast, like, yeah. the day before, I would write down some stuff, but usually it's, I get here, and then I'm like, okay. And I'm then, uh, every time I ask Evan what to talk about, he's like, the, uh... So, uh... Naturally, uh, after our four hours of waiting in the exact same spot without food or water from Joey and Evan, um, we started talking about other stuff. And we were saying that I've got a Konami microphone. Shout out Hideo Kojima. <laughs> <laughs> My man. What's, Bro, your, what's your favorite Metal Gear? Ooh, I've only played one, uh, two, and three. I, I've only played five. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know your favorite Metal Gear. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like the best one, I think. Well... Okay. Ooh, I, I, I mean, uh, I haven't gotten there yet, A lot of people, but... like, play the other ones, like, they like the story and shit, but I, I think just the gameplay is really cool. Yeah, gameplay-wise, I've heard that 5 is probably the best, just because there's, like, so much variety, and it's the most modern one, so there's yeah. a lot to, Our like, playing, do. Like, the graphics still hold up and shit, too. Yeah. It's uh, just a cool-ass game. I will say, I'm always kind of a sucker for retro graphics, personally. Like, a uh, Retro graphics? Yeah. Oh, just, like, you mean bad just graphics? Like, <laughs> yeah, that, basically. Just, like, old games and stuff. Like, I love the PS1 and PS2 yeah, and shit. Yeah, you know, I, I fuck that. It's I'm a... Like, well, like, uh, when I was first playing Metal Gear Solid 1, uh, mm -hmm. I was at my old restaurant, and my manager just gave me his old PS1 and, like, a Metal Gear and, like, uh, everything. Like, okay. uh, borrow it, borrow it. Uh, just to, like, play it, and it was, was just, like, it's just a fucking banger. Was this the Mexican dude? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Mexican restaurant and everything. <laughs> um, <Same>. Dude. <laughs> nah, dude. <laughs> um. Yeah, no, that, that game was a banger. I'd say probably it's either one or three is my favorite, even though I love two. But they're all a, they're all a good time. But like those those game stories are the most like whack ass thing I've ever heard in my life. Have you ever like actually tried to like find out what's going on? <laughs> don't I don't know. I don't think I can. Like dude, I keep seeing these clips of like <laughs> dude grabbing like some guy's balls. Yeah, and like, yeah. <gasps> You're not my gay lover. <laughs> Snake, no! Dude, that, that's what happens in 2. You're like, uh, you're playing as Raiden, and you go to try and save the president that's locked up in this room, and you walk in, and the president just grabs your fucking nuts, and then he's just like, oh, you're a man. And it's just like, what, what am I fucking playing right now, man? Do you think that could happen in real life? Do you think that ever has happened? Like We had Trump. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean he like, that was literally the whole grab him by the pussy thing, no? You thinking, like, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually for national security. <laughs> yeah. You gotta grab your, not, uh, your security guards. not misogyny. Guards. Fuck that camera. Yeah, you guys Me don't and get to see that my camera. Keanu Reeves shirt anymore. It's kind of a banger. I mean, the Jaden shirt. Dude, I, I genuinely thought you just got a photo of you printed out the first time I saw it. <laughs> And that shit was like, I was like, this is such a banger. I'll wear it till, I've worn it to like the mall sometimes. And like, you yeah. know, like, is, is that you on your shirt? Like, <laughs> that will just stop me like it's randomly like, in the aisle. It's like a good conversation starter, honestly. I love it. You got to wear clothes that stand out, you know? Yeah. You no, gotta, I, I like a, up. in high school, I used to be so experimental with my fashion. <laughs> experimental. Dude, I was. I used to just wear like you my like grandma's Jayden clothes Smith and shit. You wear, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. I just pull out like some I random I think I do like, remember that. Like, I didn't talk to you at all in high yeah. school, but... We didn't know each other almost at all in high like, school, but yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like I always got a new fit on every day. <laughs> <laughs> I was I would wear some weird <laughs> shit. Some of them were misses. I'm looking back at, like, some photos, and it's just like... There was one thing where I was wearing camo, which is already a problem, and then I was also wearing, like, something kind of, like, rainbowy, mm -hmm. and it was just like, what? how do I got rainbow and camo on at the same time? <laughs> It was the worst fit I've ever seen in my fucking life, man. It like it hurts my soul that I wore that. Playing both edges of the sword right there. Yeah, and that was like I had just bought like my I had just gotten my first job at Jimmy John's at the time, so I had like my first paycheck come through, and I was like, "Daddy needs a new pair of shoes." <laughs> so I was wearing these stupid ass shoes with these stupid ass pants and this sweatshirt, and it was just 
It was incredible. Did you wear that fit the Jimmy John's? You were like, you had the <laughs> Servler, like, you know, June special, the LGBT. Dude. Yeah, we could have. <laughs> dude, no, Jimmy John's would have been so anti fucking pride. <laughs> Jimmy John's is really? a crime. It's like the perfect opportunity to make, like, a lettuce. Yeah, you can do, like, all bacon, the colors. Tomato. <laughs> yeah. Gay sandwich. Yeah, yeah, you can do the red onions for purple. Where's the sandwich I read? <laughs> <laughs> There was one time I did get in trouble at Jimmy John's because it was Halloween and I was like, fuck it, boys, I'm dressing up. So I, I came into Jimmy John's as a monkey. And I was just wearing like a onesie. I still had my Jimmy John's shirt over the onesie, but I got yelled at for corporate for wearing this goddamn onesie and everything. It's just like, nah. I, I was like, nah, I'm swagalicious. Fuck it's you. It's crazy. Yeah, fuck, what the fuck? There's you should be able to dress up on Halloween. It's better. It's good for the brand. I was about to say, like, I mean, I, I always did at the uh, restaurant as well. It was just like, you know, everyone just wore something. I don't really care. I'll put on a onesie yeah. or some shit. Like, I had a, there was, like, this one old dude that just, like, came in. And he was just like, what's up with these fucking, like, he said to, like, one of the servers that wasn't wearing anything. Like, what's up with these fucking losers wearing all these goddamn costumes? <laughs> what like, the what the fuck? fuck are they doing? And he was just like. What a weirdo. I don't know. He was, like, so serious about it. <laughs> so how dare they dress up? <laughs> Are they having fun? Crackers sitting there in his polo and, like, jeans. Yeah. <laughs> Mustard fucking t-shirt and jeans. <laughs> his wife's wearing, like, a sundress or some shit. Nah, it's fall. The fucking onesie is, like, it's, like, a set piece for me every Halloween at this point. That's, like, like, it's the most comfortable, you know? I, like, I don't have to, like, think that hard about what to wear. Mm -hmm. It's comfy. It's cozy. If mm -hmm. it gets, like, really hot... Can like zip it down. Yep. <laughs> like you can be like I could be like a sexy monkey, you yeah. know, and like start unzipping. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, honestly, best costume I've ever had though. This last year I popped off, man. I what loved my fucking Leon Kennedy uh, costume. Lee is is that Resident Evil? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I was uh, I was Leon, like had I didn't the know little airsoft gun. Was Kennedy. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know he was a Kennedy. He's a. Is he I, JFK's son? No, there's no way. There's no fucking way that... I mean, the Why story in Resident Evil is jank. It sucks ass. But there's no way they made it that bad. I don't know. I don't, it's possible. I do love some of the... I, I only play, like, five. Yeah. <laughs> and six. I That's mean, like... It. Those are, like, uh, usually, like, people's least favorite in the series. So it's interesting <laughs> that those five. are, like, the uh, two that you've played. <laughs> I haven't played six at all, but I've played uh, almost all of five. They're, um, like, really fun co-op games. That's, yeah. That's the reason I got Resident Evil. Yeah. Because well, no one ever makes like good split screen games anymore, really. Dude, that sucks. Like, oh, there's no yeah, couch co-op like, stuff. It's just like overcooked. <laughs> yeah. Overcooked too. Uh, and... Ultimate Chicken Horse is pretty fun. I don't know. There's a, there's a lot more like yeah. indie games that are couch co-op than like Cod AAA. Black Ops point. One. <laughs> it's every Christmas. It, I mean, it's kind of a banger. Like any fighting game is also like I love fighting games. I don't know how much. Are you into fighting games? Um, I mean, I play a lot just because <laughs> you guys and, like, other friends have them. Like, yeah. when I go over and shit. I didn't really play growing up or, like, on my own or anything. I mainly... I mean, the just only one I played, like, a lot growing up was Smash. No, but I think everyone kind of played Smash. I've never played anything else. I played a little bit of Mortal Kombat. That's actually it. I don't know. I've never been a big Mortal Kombat guy. I think it's cool just because... I don't know. It's like the OG fighting games. Yeah. I mean, it, that, I, like, out of the OG shit, you got fucking Tekken. Uh, I mean, Guilty Gear is pretty old, too, but it was a lot more niche when it, like, first came out. I, but, like, Tekken, Street Fighter, and Mortal Kombat I mean, were usually, Guilty like, Gear the big was, three. Like, a thing until, like, you guys brought it up. It's like... Well, Strive blew up. Like, that, that's the, uh, that came out, like, two years ago. That okay. was, like, their, like, first game that got, like, big. Oh, okay. I never, like, was into it before Strive, though. I mean, I played play WWE, <laughs> like 2K, <laughs> SmackDown versus Raw, so it's a, that's the best fighting game. So you, you are me. into wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were talking about wrestling the other day because we saw it on Twitter trending. Yeah, we were our good old Twitter trending. All I was thinking of was John Cena and the... The WWE used to be super fucking cool, though. I, I don't know, to, I never I even like, watched it as a kid. At all, lately, but... It used to be entertaining. Like, I knew it was fucking fake, even as a kid. Well, I mean, yeah. But, well, like, things that are fake like, can still be fun, yeah. you know? Yeah. I mean, before, I, I kind of didn't because <laughs> I'd see when someone get hit with, like, a chair mm -hmm. and, like, bleeding and stuff, and I'm like, it's kind of real. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's a little too much. <laughs> I was like, these men are huge. <laughs> those, Smashing those are each some other's roided ass. I dudes. love roided dudes just beating the hell out of each other. Oiled up. <laughs> oh, literally oiled, oiled up on stage oiled, beating the greasy, fuck out of each other Ben, Dwayne, The Rock, Johnson Those are real men right there, not us Yeah, I mean, I don't know, there's so many 
big stars that come out of the WWE too. Oh yeah. There's Did a, you have like a favorite wrestler ever? Nah, I just like I never really watched it. Ever? Not really, no. Uh, I, I I didn't really watch. It. I knew like a lot of like the people though. Just the big names. Yeah, just from media and also games and stuff. Yeah, I mean, like there, a there's DS plenty of stuff I in played. games. I loved Rey Mysterio just because he had the Mysterio. mask. Mysterio. I feel like I would at least know he's if like, I saw the mask, I would know. He's like, <laughs> he's like the five five, like Mexican it's guy like who always wears like a mask. Oh, I just do like, know who you're talking about. S- like yeah. somersaults and like flips around. Yeah. Um, shit. He looks sick. He's doing cool shit all the time. I mean, even though I like didn't like actually watch it. There were so many commercials as a kid about it, though. Honestly, commercials when we were younger were bangers. I don't know if I just don't see the like amount. Of, dude, the, like, have you ever wa- like went back and like looked at old like infomercials and stuff uh, that used to like just be out? Honestly, yeah. I mean, I like people used to say that they watched like Super Bowl for like commercials. I thought the commercials like this year were ass. To be honest, I didn't like I, any of them. To I me. didn't watch any of it. <laughs> you didn't uh, watch the Super Bowl? No. What? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there was one time I hosted a Super Bowl party, and I don't think I even remember who was playing. I <laughs> what? <literally laughs> it was literally just like, I don't know. It ain't me. Everyone else can watch, but I'm just here to party. <laughs> okay. That's all I like. Really care about football I mean, for is just like tailgating, school. You know. Hanging out with people's fun. Yes, I don't sir. give a shit about that game, though. I don't know. You, you wouldn't be the only one. <laughs> I mean, I'm just being honest. <laughs> yeah, There's okay. a lot of other sports that I, like, I think are actually like very yeah. fun to watch. I mean, I you think... watch like uh, like soccer, too. Yeah, right? I love soccer. I love tennis. Um, I also think that uh, hockey is extremely fun to watch. Basketball, I really want to watch as well. Mm-hmm. I want to get more into basketball. Like, uh, I think my sister might get some free uh, tickets for the MSU games. Oh, really? I'm trying to go to that shit. <laughs> I'm trying to go. I mean, I've been. To, I went to like one of the basketball games. It was really cool. It's really fun. I went to the football one as well. Yep. But um, yeah. I mean, that's why I I love watching like the Olympics like uh, every mm-hmm. four years because they they like show a lot of like the less televised sports. You know. Yep. Like uh, like wrestling. <laughs> 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 I love Dude. seeing big greasy sweaty men grapple each big other, boys, <laughs> lift man. each other up and just slam them down. <laughs> I like getting slammed <laughs> by big greasy boys. Oh, did you know like a lot of like pro, like Olympic wrestlers go from the Olympics like to the WWE like after? Well, that's like, well, but they're doing like real wrestling, you know? Yeah, but they go from real wrestling to like fake wrestling. <laughs> maybe it's more fun to do, you know? Like maybe they're just like actually just fucking around on stage. Maybe it's just more fun. Like there's been like I think uh, yeah, Kurt Angle was a gold medalist, and he, he he's like he was famous for like. Breaking his fucking neck in the Olympics and winning, oh. <laughs> and then he went oh. on to go be like a star of the WWE. Breaking your neck and then winning, dude. Yeah, that that guy that lost awful. can never come back from that. <laughs> Imagine like you broke someone's neck and you still lost. Oh. I don't know, man. That's some Karate Kid shit right there. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Have you ever seen the, the <laughs> Jaden Smith one? Then he goes on to like, you know the clip of where the wrestler's like, I'm a big man, and I like to play with little boys. Wait, wait, no, no, that's not right. <laughs> yeah, that's him. <laughs> <laughs> I like to play with he little boys. He broke a little more than his neck. <laughs> Dude, did I show you that one fucking uh, Instagram video where it was just like, it was just clips of like different like sports stuff, and it's like, yeah, and I'm coming hard on your ass, and I'm coming for it. I'm going from behind. And, like, people are like, whoa, whoa, dude, what are you fucking saying? Like MMA fighter saying that, I think. I, it's, like, a compilation of, like, a bunch of different sports and shit. Yeah, I've seen that one. There's one where, like, one guy's like, yeah, the girth and tonnage of this dude is crazy. And, like, the other announcer's just like, bro, what I, the <laughs> fuck did you just say? I love the the NBA ones. They're funny. Oh, dude, there was a... They'll, like, fine you, though, if you, like, say something like that. And then oh, you're yeah. like, no homo. <laughs> <laughs> like boom, sixty thousand dollars, dude. Yeah, those fines get big. Like a uh, like Nickelodeon stars, if they swore when they were like still like in their shows and like uh, or like for voice actors, like the fines are crazy. You can like a single swear can easily for be over ten thousand. Yeah, I don't know. Dan Schneider, the 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 footman, <laughs> he was probably charging them crazy. God, that guy's a weirdo, dude. Got to pay for them feet pics somehow. Do you remember when Nickelodeon had the oh fucking God. foot as a logo? Like, <laughs> oh my God, dude, no. Dude. That was the biggest foreshadowing oh ever. Oh my fucking God. Right, right in your face as a kid. 
Didn't even know. I mean, when you're a kid, you don't think about anything. I think I saw, like, I remember there, there was this, like, episode of Victorious or something. Dude, the, are you talking about the bow and arrow with the feet? I didn't even, I didn't even know that was a thing. Th- that was one of them. Or maybe it was iCarly. I was th- I was thinking of the one where they have, like, get, like, the fish that, like, you know. Yeah, all that, the that's Victorious. Yeah. <laughs> And I don't know, there's Wait. like so much feet shit in that one. There's also They got their feet out there like this. Yeah. And they're like <laughs> Dude, they're like wiggling their toes. They're like, it's sucking sucking my toes. <laughs> they, oh it's, it's dude, oh my god, it's actually so bad. There I there was one though where like everyone had to like do their secret talents and uh right in front of your face. Victoria just like grabs a bow and shoots it with her feet or something, like dogs out barking. <laughs> it, I don't know. You just it, Two inch brick and <laughs> Dan Schneider's pants all time. <laughs> oh, can we do that scene again? Oh my god, that was really nah. good, guys. God. Like Quentin Tarantino. Is he in Defeat 2 or something? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's like. I think there's a. It's weird. He, he, quick, yeah, Tarantino writes feet into a lot of this movie. There's like a scene where, uh, with Salma Hayek, I think, where like he writes himself into it. Like doing something with her feet, he's like giving like her a massage or something. I can look it up really quick. Dude, <laughs> actually, out of any foot scene, have you ever watched Death Note? Uh, the anime, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that when it, me and Evan were watching that uh, for the first time <laughs> together in the apartment. Yeah, this is the one. <laughs> Show that to the fucking camera real quick. What is that? It's fucking Tarantino Jesus Christ! Sucking off. Uh, oh, whatever. It's like a heel. <laughs> yeah. That that's painful. <laughs> um, <laughs> he directed that. At <laughs> good lord! Get, uh, and, yeah, a, and this is the scene like where I start out. sucking your face. All right, Salma. So uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a uh, big Oscar moment for you. You're gonna so you're gonna, gonna take, take your off your socks off, off and uh, yeah, I'm I'm just I'm gonna, gonna get into position real quick. Are we rolling? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get a few more takes. Just you know. Does Just that, for good practice. <laughs> do you think that qualifies jail time? I don't know. I mean, we haven't sent Joey to jail yet, and he does the same. Oh, yeah. No, <laughs> dude, Joey, every time we'll be like, now take your pants off. Take your pants. And I, I always start crying, and I'm always like, please don't, but it, it never stops. It's Twerk Tuesday, Eric. <laughs> you got a job to do. <laughs> it's, a, it's Twerk Tuesday, but I want to do it with pants on. <laughs> oh, oh, that's what I was going to say, though. The fucking, that Death Note scene. Oh, that one's fully dead. <laughs> uh, that Death Note one where... Uh, yeah. Fucking L starts rubbing Light's feet, like, on the stairs. Like, right around the <laughs> midway point, it was just like, what? me and Evan what? were just laughing so hard. <laughs> Do you not remember that? No. Dude. I'm about to blank that out of my Bro, memory, dude. after this episode, I actually have to show you this Can, shit. like, clip it real quick. <laughs> but. Dude, L literally just starts going, like, it's supposed to be, a, apparently, a biblical reference. I'm not religious, so I don't really know my stuff, but he just starts rubbing Light's feet. I don't know. So how's that biblical? There's there's one part where it's like Jesus or Joseph or something apparently okay. is getting their feet rubbed up by some women. It's light Jesus? <laughs> uh, maybe. Apparently there's like a it's bunch L of biblical woman. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> L could be my woman, man. I remember, isn't L like just barefoot like every time he's sitting in that chair? There's a lot of feet like stuff in death curled well. up in that fucking chair like this. Dude, I the, didn't even think about that. Ripping his got dogs st- all over that <laughs> cushion. Mm. He starts uh, He starts getting nasty. Uh, Light's really good at tennis. He might be a serial killer. Dude, <laughs> it's so. I love that show so much, man. It's so. Goofy. I love it too. I haven't finished it. I I stopped I mean, like right when Elf died. Yeah. <laughs> and I haven't. Big spoilers. That. Don't spoil for me. <laughs> I have 20 I mean, more years to do it. <laughs> you uh, you already watched the best part of the show. It, <laughs> like uh, I want to see how it ends though. I kind of wish it ended where that midway point is. The rest of the show is still worth watching, but it's definitely not as good as the first half. Mm. Okay. I don't know. I just miss L. He was easily the best character. <laughs> he was so funny. I My liked, little foot man. Yeah, I like the lights Shinigami. Yeah, I yeah. I forgot his name. Uh, Ryuk. I think you're right. Ryuk. Yeah. That's kind of bugging me that I'm not fully remembering it. I also really like uh, that one uh, Shinigami that comes uh, from the realm or whatever, and he's just like, give me back my, like, he's like that weird-ass nerdy dude. He's like, give me back my apple. <laughs> like, I don't know, he's like the really ugly as fuck. Give me back my apple, man. That guy was cool. What would you do if you had a Shinigami? 
Dude, honestly, if your Death Note had your Death Note would have like purple flowers. Oh, it'd be cute. Yeah, it'd be like cute, like little paper flower on the end with like pink ribbon oh, closing man. it. Yeah, I mean, it, it would be it would be like <laughs> fucking sparkling. It would be bedazzled. I would put like the fake diamonds would you just and shit use on it, it too. As a diary? Dear diary, Jaden Fung today. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, shit, I forgot. Fuck, dude, that would really uh, that would really be a day. What a day! Hmm? Honestly, I feel like I, Boy, like the, <laughs> the beginning of that show, like, I feel like that's probably what I'd try as well, where it's just like, should I kill someone in prison? This guy was awful. <laughs> you would be like, would I, would <laughs> would be like, I don't, I mean, I'd like I to think that I would I was rooting for light. <laughs> I mean, for, I kind of love light. Half. I kind of love light, but he's also like a dickwad. He's pretty cool. He's pretty long. Did you see like the Netflix like movie? Oh my God. That is top three worst movies I've ever seen. That shit was so beyond booty cheeks out of slap and wahoo. Dude, the other one? For reference. M. Night Shyamalan's uh, Avatar The Last Airbender. Have you seen that shit? That's M. Night Shyamalan's? Yeah. I didn't know he made that. Well, they came out with a new one recently. There, there's like a new Netflix series. I have not watched that one. Yeah, I don't know if it's his. any good. I but know, the old one, like the 2013 Why or whatever. Why the fuck did he do that? He, I don't know. He, was there a big twist in it? Uh, the fact that it was triple booty cheeks. Yeah, <laughs> <I guess>. Okay. <laughs> Dude, M. Night Shyamalan has like one good movie. I, I like a lot of his movies, actually. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Some of his shit just kind of hurts my head. Um, I, I will say old was kind of funny just because of the, someone's name being mid-sized sedan. <laughs> 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 it's like, I don't remember that part from it. <laughs> dude, there's no way it's not just like... It's got to be like slightly just racist. I like that movie. It's pretty cool. I, I like I like a lot of the ideas I like in the it. Actors. I just don't I like, like how... Uh, like, <laughs> I just liked that for a second. It got like really like intense really quickly. Yeah. That I, was cool. I do like a lot of the like concepts he comes up with. I just think a lot of the execution is sometimes a miss for me. Have you ever seen Signs? The alien no. one with Mel Gibson? No. It's where like aliens come in they're all like wearing tinfoil hats the and, like, aliens are wearing tinfoil hats no <laughs> no <Mel Gibson laughs> and his fucking kids dude <laughs> and like they're like they, the aliens attack and like they're like on a farm and he discovers that they're allergic to water and like burns their skin just like and I remember there's nice a scene clothes. where he like just beats the shit out of them with a baseball bat but he's got a water bottle on. yeah I remember watching <laughs> that as a kid and it made me not afraid of aliens anymore I mean, when they're, just, like, lame ass ones. Just beat the shit fucking, out of them. <laughs> yeah, and then they're, like, scared of water. They're hands, lame. Yeah. They're lame. That's why I don't think probings are real, because you could just beat the shit out of them. I, I would win. I would, I would, I would so I would win. win. It's not an alien in, like, the universe. I, I could throw hands with them. There's no chance I'm losing. Like, <laughs> there's, like, genuinely, get me out in space alone without a suit, and I'd still win. There's no chance. <laughs> without a suit? Without a suit. <laughs> That's like, that's the American in me, you know? Like, a, a literal eagle would like come through and be like, Aah! I would do the mo most patriotic shit you've ever seen in your life. Didn't uh, M. Night Sh Shyamalan. Shyamalan? Didn't he direct a split also? Yeah, I saw that one. I thought those ones were good, right? I don't know. I, I, was, I was in between on it. it. It's like a trilogy, right? Oh, is there more? It's part of like, a, like a, several movies together. I, I only saw Split for that, so I, d I didn't know there was, like, more to it. No, uh, it, it would keeps maybe going. Help. It was, like, Bruce Willis and, like, um, what's his face, the bad guy? I, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. I like that actor. I just, I don't remember his name, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that movie was, like. Average uh, white guy, bald, shaved head, <laughs> who's not Bruce Willis. <laughs> it's, a uh, yeah, it, it, they're all the same. It's fine. But you said you did or did not see Avatar The Last Airbenders? Uh, the M. Night Shyamalan one. <laughs> no, I've never seen that. They, I heard it was ass. Have you seen the uh, original cartoon, at least? Mm -hmm. They, uh, I they made it. it last summer, actually. Dude, it's so good. Yeah, it's I a loved it a banger. lot. I mean, I watched that as a kid, and I watched it, uh, like, a couple years ago again as well. But, um, yeah, in the movie, uh, there's, like, one part where, uh, they're dealing with some earthbenders, and, like, it's, like, six of them all do, like, a full dance routine and everything. It takes, like, fucking, like, 30 seconds for them to get this going. And then one rock about like this size. I remember seeing just that. like just moves across the screen like I'm like damn no wonder y'all lost. Just like, what the <laughs> fuck is this dude? It was like the lamest earthbending I've ever seen in my life. And then like firebenders, they needed a fire source like next to them for them to actually be able to bend fire instead of just being able to create fire. It was really weird. 
they uh, pronounced his name as Ong the entire movie instead of Ang. And it was just really? like. Really? Yeah, and it was like Suka instead of Sokka. Why? I don't know. And they made uh, Sokka like a super serious character as well. Like he did not tell jokes. He was just like, like strict cut. It was it was weird. They picked the wrong director for that movie. <laughs> it was it was not the move, man. Yeah, that that shit was ass. Oh, I, I love cartoon and anima- animation though. Like, oh yeah, maybe more than live action. Honestly, I feel like I, I tend to lean towards that. Yeah, I'd say I agree for the most part. I mean, it kind of depends on my mood. What's like your favorite like animated show ever? Animated I'm ask show. Evan this last time was, you know, so I mean, <laughs> kind of circles back to this. <laughs> to be honest, Avatar is really high up there. Avatar, really? Avatar is really okay. high up. I mean, I, that one's also just like halfway through, like super nostalgic, and then also just like being like such a good mm. show. Mm. Ooh, I don't know. I mean, I feel like I have a like different like taste uh, in terms of, like for like American shit and then anime shit. You know, it, yeah. it just like it feels like it plays out way different. I would say, uh, yeah, for a. Uh, I mean, I think Avatar is technically American, but like, I love Adventure Time as well. Avatar is a banger. Honestly, the first couple of seasons of SpongeBob, man, they're so fucking good. Yeah. OG SpongeBob is genuinely the funniest shit, man. It aged so well. I don't know. What OG about you? SpongeBob, yeah, I love seeing like SpongeBob. I remember as a kid, I'd be confused because they play like the newer episodes, but then like they, every now and then they bring up like the one with the like the blowing things. Yeah. You know. What are those called? Leaf blowers, yeah. yeah Leaf yeah. blowers. And they're like silent and shit. That was really funny, yeah. though. Classic. I love Spongebob. <laughs> it's like a lesser known thing because it's like kind of like a kid's show, but like the DuckTales. Oh, <laughs> like the I know of it, but I didn't, I didn't really watch it. It was much, actually I, really I entertaining. I enjoyed it. That one, uh, I really enjoyed it. When did that come out? I say like in the last like several years. Okay, yeah. I definitely haven't seen it, but I like, like know of it at least. Yeah. Um, honestly, there's a lot of really old cartoons that are kind of bangers as well. Like, I grew up on a lot of the, like, super old stuff, like Tom and Jerry, Scooby-Doo, all those. Like, as a, like, a younger kid, those were all bangers. Shout yeah. out Caillou. <laughs> Shout out Caillou. Shout out my boy Caillou. I the used to think, I used to think Caillou had cancer. Bro, everyone like, did. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. I was like, why else would your kid oh, be bald? Dog, speaking of the backyard again, you see they're trying to reboot it? And they're making everyone stupid. I saw that. Bro. Yeah, they're so ugly. Dude, they look so dumb. They're so if ugly. Everyone watching, right or listening, watching right Grab now, my boy look Pablo. up the fucking the backyardigans. I yeah. bet you can't name all the backyardigans right now. Pablo. One of them is like a very stereotypical name, right? <laughs> I, I feel like if I like say it wrong, my it's gonna girl, be like unique one. Yeah, it's like, it's like dude, I can't. I feel like if I mess that up, it's like a problem, you know. <laughs> Hey, yo, where you at, Uniqua? I'm Tasha. <laughs> is that, was it also? Pablo, is it that? Dude, what's the, what's the moose's name? I don't, the, Owen. the penguin's Pablo. <laughs> is it, dude, it would be some, dude, Owen's a bitch made name. I think, I feel like the moose has like a fat kid name, like Owen or Roman. Dude, or... that's brutal. That's brutal. Dwight. Hold on. <laughs> it's Tyrone. Yeah, Uniqua, Tyrone, Tasha, Austin. Bro, why do I not remember this dude, Austin? I don't. Who the fuck is that? Dude, I think I do remember him vaguely. Dude, like that real was, vaguely. He's like the purple kangaroo. From yeah. Backyard again. I'll see if I can show it to the camera, but like, what's who the, what's in the, the world remembers? Uh, I think that was Tasha. Oh, okay. That's she, Uniqua. She's the hippo. Uh, hippo. The yellow hippo's uh Tasha. Okay, real quick, we got a couple other people. We got Joey and Evan behind the camera. I just yeah, need to know. We're talking about backyard again. Yeah, Do y'all remember God? This this little little weird pink fucker. Yeah. Which one? On, the, on the like the far right of the photo. Yeah, he was kind of chill. He like, was. Are you talking about the kangaroo, the pink one? Yeah, dude. Like, why is he? He's kind of slipped in my mind, man. Well, he's he's like, chill. The kangaroo wasn't on all the episodes. He was. He was kind of like a guest character. Yeah. Oh, they, that's um, right. was yeah, it, that's gone. Was that it like one's a just stoner not or something. Oh, um. <laughs> So yeah, he's he like a little stoner. <laughs> stoner that, backyard again. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I don't really remember how the show played out. Was it a stoner show? You'd just for, like how Scooby Doo was. You forget to come by. He was a junior. Show. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you just show? smoking a doobie and over my Volkswagen. <laughs> Dude, Sorry. the idea of the backyard again smoking would go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's a nightmare blunt rotation. Yeah. All righty. They they really want us to wrap it up. They are so tired of us hearing us talk. God damn. Joey just keeps going. His voice, it's so annoying. 
but so he's already taking his pants off the yellow red. So. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, everyone um, knows what we said earlier. We're all, we're all looking forward to the new backyard again here at the Bad Test. He's lying. And uh, yeah, this has been late night with Bad Test. It's with it's, Eric and Jaden. It's actually only eleven forty nine. So, but I'm a. It's late player. enough night. We're old souls. We're. <laughs> I'm an old soul. If I start talking to someone, they're like, I'm an old soul. You it's are over. an old soul. You just keep yapping away. You're like an old boy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, uh, don't comment. Do not subscribe. <laughs> don't talk to us. Fuck you. We yeah. love you. And as always. Love you guys. Sweet, sweet goodness. You want to fuck? <laughs> <laughs>